Hello students, myself Vivul Kudia from LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. So in last session we start a new, new chapter that is Geometric Transformation. In Geometric Transformation we discussed total five, five processes. First one that is Translation, second one that is Rotation, third one that is Reflection, fourth one Scaling and fifth one Searing. Okay, so in last session we discussed one process that is translation. What is the meaning of translation? If you want to move any of the object from one position to another position, it's called a translation geometric transformation. So we discussed that process in last session and also we solve one numerical based on that. Yeah. So in today's session we have to discuss second process that is rotational transformation. Now what is the meaning of rotational transformation? So if you want to rotate your object according to origin or according to any of the point of object, clear? This is called rotational geometric transformation. In rotational geometric transformation, you can rotate your object either in anti-clockwise direction or clockwise direction. So in today's session, we discuss rotational geometric transformation. First, we derive equation for the rotational geometric transformation. After that, we solve a numerical based on that. Okay. So, what is rotational geometric transformation in computer graphics? So, in computer graphics, 2D rotational process of rotating a object with respect to angle in two dimensional plane. So, in this, uh, for the derivation, we just select or consider one point O and point O coordinate that is x old comma y old. After that, we give anti-clockwise direction rotation clear and angle of that that is theta so consider a point of object o has to be rotated from one angle to another in 2d plane so let initial coordinate of object o is equal to x old comma y old initial angle of object o with respect to origin that is 5 now first point that is o so, O point make one angle with X axis that is 5. After giving rotation, we get a new point that is O dash and O dash also have an angle with X axis. Clear? So, rotational angle that is theta. We give rotational in anticlockwise direction at angle theta. So, new coordinate of the object O after rotation that is X new comma Y new. Clear? Old point coordinate that is uh, x old comma y old. After give rotation anti clockwise direction at angle theta, we get a new point that is x new comma y new. So we have to derive equation for the x new and y new. Now, so first we understand this figure. Based on this figure or this geometry, we have to derive the equation. So in this figure, uh, you show that is point O. And coordinate of point O that is X coordinate of point O that is X old and Y coordinate of point O that is Y old. Now if you give rotation of any of the object at that time radius remain constant. Clear? If you give either anti-clockwise rotation or clockwise rotation the value of radius is throughout constant. Clear? So uh, suppose radius of uh, point O that is capital R. Now you all know what is the equation in any of the triangle for the sin theta and cos theta? So according to the triangle origin O and X old, the O point generate a angle with X axis that is 5. If radius of this triangle or will be that is capital R, then based on this triangle we can write X old is equal to R cos phi and Y old is equal to R sin phi. Clear? You all know what is the equation of cos phi that is adjacent side upon hypotenuse and same way what is the equation of the sin phi that is opposite side upon hypotenuse. Clear? So this is the simple um, uh, geometric equation for the sin theta and cos theta. So based on the triangle uh, with point O we have two equation that is x old is equal to r cos phi and y old is equal to r sin phi. Clear? Now, in this figure, we have one more point that is O dash. Now, O dash point that is after giving anti clockwise rotation at angle theta, we get new point that is O dash. So, angle between O and O dash that is theta, but O dash 
point generate angle with x axis that is theta plus phi clear now coordinates of o dash that is x nu and y nu okay so from this figure or from this triangle if you want to find value of x nu so from this triangle same equation we have to use for the cos theta and sin theta but in this triangle the angle is theta plus phi so what is the equation of x nu that is r cos theta plus phi and what is the equation of y nu that is r sin theta plus phi clear so first of all you all know what is the equation for the cos of alpha plus beta and sin of alpha plus beta so what is the equation of cos of alpha plus beta that is cos alpha into cos beta minus sin alpha into sin beta and what is the equation of sin of alpha plus beta that is sin alpha cos beta plus cos alpha into sin beta so we have to use these two equation over here because in our case the value of x nu that is cos of theta plus phi so we have to uh, x, uh, use this equation over here so r x nu is equal to r cos theta plus phi is equal to r in bracket cos theta into cos phi minus sin theta into sin phi after that you have to multiply value of radius inside the bracket and we get r cos theta into cos phi minus r sin theta into sin phi now already we derive two equation x old is equal to r cos phi and y old is equal to r sin phi you have to put this two value over here and you will you will get value of x nu clear so that is the equation of the x nu same way from this triangle you so you can see that is value of y nu clear so from the triangle origin o dash and x nu from this triangle but the value of y nu is equal to r sin theta plus phi now again you have to use equation of sin of alpha plus beta over here then x y nu is equal to r in bracket sin theta into cos phi plus cos theta into sin phi again you have to multiply the value of radius inside the bracket and you have to put value of x old and y old over here clear yeah. so this is the simple basic mathematical terms that you already learned clear so based on that we have now we have two equation x nu and y nu clear so this equation so this rotation is achieved by using the following rotational equation x nu is equal to x old cos theta minus y old sin theta and y nu is equal to x old sin theta plus y old cos theta now using this two equation we have to convert this equation into the matrix form clear so in matrix you all know how to multiply two matrix clear so in matrix multiplication you have to consider a uh, first row from the first matrix and first column from the second matrix and you can multiply first row first column after that you have to multiply first row second column clear you have to follow same procedure for the second row second row first column second row second column Clear. Yeah, so this is the simple basic matrix uh, matrix multiplication. So this equation we have to convert in the matrix form. So in matrix form you have to convert this equation like this: x nu y nu is equal to cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta. And in second matrix that is x old y old. Clear. Yeah. So from this matrix, if you multiply these two uh, two matrix over here, and you will get the uh, above equation. Like x nu is equal to now you can multiply first row and first column so cos theta into x old plus minus sin theta into y old and you will get above equation of x nu clear same way if you can multiply second row first column like sin theta into x old plus cos theta into y old this is the value of y nu you can see the value of y nu in above equation. clear so you have to remember this equation this equation of the matrix form x nu y nu is equal to cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta into x old y this is the equation for the anti clockwise rotation clear because in this theory we we consider that o point transfer to o dash point with anti clockwise rotation at angle theta clear if you want to uh, uh, generate equation for the uh, clockwise rotation then you have to just put instead of theta you have to put minus theta over here and this equation converted in the form of the clockwise rotation 
clear so this is the equation of the rotational geometric transformation now we have to solve a numerical based on rotational geometric transformation clear okay so this is the problem so in this case given line segment with starting point 0 comma 0 we have one line starting point of line that is 0 comma 0 means first part of line over origin clear and ending point as 4 comma 4 now we have one point that is 4 comma 4 apply 30 degree rotation anti clockwise direction on the line segment and find out new coordinate of line now we have 1.4 comma 4 we have to translate or we have to rotate this point in anti clockwise direction at angle 30 degree and we have to find the new points coordinate clear so this is the problem now we have to solve this numerical so we rotate straight line by uh, its end point with same angle then we draw a line between new end point now what is the given data old end point coordinate that is x old comma y old is equal to 4 comma 4 the given data is 4 now we have one point that is 4 comma 4 and we have to shift this 4 comma 4 point with anti clockwise rotation at angle theta value of theta that is 30 degree clear so rotational angle theta is equal to 30 degree and we have we will get one new point coordinate that is x new comma y new and we have to find the value of x new and y new over here now you all know what is the equation of x new and y new so in x new and y new we have we have to calculate value of x new and y new we have to just the two data of that that is x old and angle clear yeah. based on that you can find value of x new and y new so uh, this is the uh, value of x new and y new over here that is what is x new x new is equal to x old cos theta minus y old sin theta now we have value of x old and y old and we also we have value of theta you have to put all the value over here so x old is equal to 4 so 4 cos 30 minus 4 sin 30 so is equal to now you all know what is the value of cos 30 is equal to root 3 by 2 what is the value of sin 30 that is 1 by 2 put these two value over here then this equation converted in the form of 4 into root 3 by 2 minus 4 into 1 by 2 again you have to mod uh, convert this equation in the form of if you will take 2 common then 2 in bracket root 3 minus 1 now what is the value of root 3 that is 1.73 put this value of uh, root 3 over here so 2 in bracket 1.73 minus 1 and the value of x new that is 1.46 so new point coordinates that is x new is equal to 1.46 same way you have to calculate value of y new so y new is equal to equal first of all you have to write equation of y new that is x old sin theta plus y old cos theta put the value of x old y old and theta over here so 4 sin 30 plus 4 cos 30 so 4 into 1 by 2 plus 4 into root 3 by 2 again you have to follow same procedure and calculate that value and you will get answer 5.46 so value of y nu that is 5.46 and value of x nu that is 1.46 so new point coordinate value of new point coordinate old point coordinate value is 4,4 after giving the rotation in anti clockwise direction at 30 degree we will get new point and new point coordinate that is 1.46,5.46 clear so this is the answer of the new point coordinate now also we have to find this answer using matrix equation clear so in matrix equation that is x new y new is equal to cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta x old y old you all know all this equation we already derived this equation in previous slide clear so you have to just put the value of theta and x old and y old over here so x nu y nu is equal to cos 30 minus sin 30 sin 30 cos 30 in second matrix x old y old that value of x old y old that is 4 and 4 this is the anti equation for the anti clockwise rotation now you have to multiply two matrix and you all know how to multiply two matrix first row of the first matrix and first column of the second matrix you have to multiply first row first column same way you have to multiply first row second column first row third column for the second row you have to consider for, from the first matrix you have to consider second row 
so second row and after that you have to repeat same procedure second row first column second row second column second row third column so you all know how to multiply two matrix so we have to apply these rules over here so first row first column so in first matrix first row is cos 30 and minus sin 30 and first column that is first column of second matrix that is 4 and 4 so you have to multiply cos 30 into 4 plus minus sin 30 into 4 so 4 into cos 30 minus 4 into sin 30 again you have to multiply second row first column so in second row that is sin 30 and cos 30 and the first column that is 4 comma 4 so again you have to multiply sin 30 into 4 plus cos 30 into 4 clear and you have to put value of theta that is 30 degree and you all know cos 30 is equal to root 3 by 2 sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2 you have to just calculate this value and you will get answer x nu is equal to 1.46 y nu is equal to 5.46 clear so this is the answer of new coex coordinate now you have to draw one diagram with old point coordinates and new point coordinates clear so this is the diagram of that x axis y axis old point coordinate o you can see in this figure that is 4 comma 4 after giving rotation 30 degree in anti clockwise direction we get one new point the new point coordinate that is o dash and o dash the x point coordinate of o dash that is 1.46 and y point coordinate that is 5.46 Clear? So this is the point of coordinate. So this is the simple rotational geometric transformation. Clear? So you have to remember of the one or two equation of rotational geometric transformation in anti-clockwise direction rotation or either clockwise direction rotation. You have to remember equation in the matrix form. Clear? So this is the we just saw solve a numerical and in this numerical we just shift one point. Clear? So, same way you can rotate any triangle, any rectangle, clear? If you have a, any, if you have a, suppose any triangle ABC, so you have a three coordinate of A, B and C. And uh, you can rotate this triangle according to origin in clockwise direction, in anti-clockwise direction, in any of the degree. And you will get new point coordinate, clear? But you have to, every time you have to use the equation of a matrix form that we will, that we all derive in this lecture. Clear? So this is the rotational geometric transformation. So in next lecture we discuss more three transformation. In last session we discussed translation geometric transformation. In today's session we discuss rotational geometric transformation. Now three processes remaining for that is reflection, scaling and shearing. So that three process we will discuss in our next session. Thank you.